Hi guys, my name is Vardhan and today I'm going to deliver a short video on DevOps versus Agile because this is a topic which has been trending for a long time in the market and a lot of people still have confusion over what is the difference between the two and why DevOps is considered better than Agile. Okay, so I don't want to waste any time. Let me immediately get started. As you can see from my screen, both are software development methodologies. Agile came in a couple of decades ago and DevOps is very recent as recent as mid 2000s. Now primarily, what is the similarity between the two? The similarity between the two is they both believe in fast software development. Okay, and even their principles are based on how fast the software can be developed without causing harm to anyone, neither the operations nor the customers. Okay, but however, the difference between the two lies in what happens after development. So there is software development, there is software testing, there is software deployment, right? After these three stages, there's a small difference. Agile actually ends right there. What you see here in the form of operations is non-existent. Okay, that's not believed in Agile. That is not their focus at all. However, with DevOps, there is operations which is continuously happening. And when I say operations, it's basically monitoring. So whatever application or software is being developed, that gets continuously operated on to make sure that the software is always up and running. There is no downtime. There is no problem with anything so that the customers don't get back with any errors or any problems, right? So that is a difference. So with agile, the software is actually tested before it's deployed to customers or clients. However, after it's deployed, it is not monitored on. Okay, a track of how the software is performing is not kept with DevOps. That is the difference. There are a lot of tools in place to achieve that very same. There are a lot of automation which is in place and this makes life easier. DevOps believes in the fact that one single person should have responsibility for everything, the development operations and uh, the entire life cycle. Okay, with Agile, that's not the same. Agile, you have people who will be developing, there'll be people who will be testing it and there will be people who will be operating it. So there's a wide difference in job roles. Okay, with DevOps, you have DevOps engineers who are primarily responsible for doing everything. So it's more of a merging between the two job roles. All right, so that is the uh, difference between them on a higher level. So let me go into more details of what the difference between the two is starting from the first point with agile. You get the feedback from the customer. Okay, whatever software is uh, deployed. You do not operate on it anymore. You do not monitor it. So the feedback comes from the customer. However, with DevOps, the feedback is from self. Even if you deploy to production, even if the customers and clients start using it, their inputs are just one half of it. The remaining half, you have automation in place, you have DevOps tools in place, which will let you know when something is immediately wrong. Okay. And then Agile also believes in having smaller release cycles compared to SDLC. So that is one advantage with Agile, but DevOps does it better. In spite of having smaller release cycles, DevOps also believes in immediate feedback. Okay. And Agile's primary focus is only on speed, but DevOps believes in both speed and automation of work so that the overall workload reduces. You can conclude this by saying that agile is not the best solution for business. However, DevOps is the best for business, at least in today's world, because with DevOps, there is a lot of cost cutting. You have a lot of tools in place, open source tools, which are free to use. So a lot of people can use it straight away without having to pay license and companies don't need to use manpower and a lot of other benefits are associated with DevOps. So that is the difference between the two. Okay. Now I want to go to the final slide here and talk about which are the most used DevOps tools because DevOps is the ultimate technology, right? So we start from here. Okay. So this is the phase where you plan code and build your software. Okay. So for maintaining your code, you have uh, various tools like Git, Jira and Eclipse. Okay. Eclipse, however, is an IDE. Git is a place where you can store your code and collaborate with multiple other people. So you even have SVN for the same purpose for building your code. You have tools like Maven, Gradle and Ant and then to test that code, which is built. You have Selenium, you have JUnit, you have TestNG and you have many more tools and then comes the main part for release. We have tools like Jenkins, Bamboo, Hudson and many more. And these tools are actually my favorite because they are continuous integration tools which are responsible for holding the entire DevOps framework in place. And then comes the deployment tools. So in deployment, we have two different categories. One is configuration management and the other is containerization. 
In configuration management, we have tools like Puppet, Chef, Ansible, and SaltStack. And for containerization, we have tools like Docker, Vagrant, Kubernetes, and many more which are gaining popularity. And then finally for uh, monitoring, we have tools like Nagios, Splunk, Sensu, New Relic, ELK, and many more. A lot of these tools are also used in agile development. But however, the reason they are called DevOps tools is because they enable automation and automation is fully achieved only in DevOps. Okay, so having said this, let me conclude today's presentation. Happy learning from Edureka. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!